Hey, True Believers, England Teen here. Now, everybody and their brother have talked about the Thundercats already, and so did we, in what ended up being an almost four-hour live stream. I figured, why don't we just cut these things down into chapters so somebody who may be intimidated by such a long live stream may join the conversation. I'm joined by Dalton and Corrupt, who actually liked Thundercats. I, I really was just too old and dealing with babies when it came out. Anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed the live stream here. Check it out. Apparently there's going to be a new Thundercats. Ugh, it looks, yeah. it's so loud. Like, it's just so loud and ugly. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, now, I, like I said, this is after me. This is, this is not my cup of tea. That being said, it really does look like Steven Universe fucked the creator of Thundercats in the submission. <laughs> not even quite. It's not even quite that. It looks like te- the creators of Teen Titans Go fucked the creator into submission. I don't. Dude, no, I, you know, don't even think it's good enough. All right, it looks it's really good. bad. This looks. Re- this looks really fucking bad. But honestly, like. uh... I think it'll bomb if only because it looks too samey and it looks too much like everything else that's on CN. So there's no real reason to actually watch it. That and they have no interest. So that, that and they have no real. That and people would have no real interest in it, uh, even watching it outside of it just being another show that kind of looks like everything else. Getting from this is, is, and what you're saying is, they have decided that you guys remember. The Thundercats fondly, so oh, you will watch this, and I mean, because that's nostalgia. Nostalgia is you want to watch it because it was something from your trade. It's good. Let me show my children, and that keeps it going. It's like it was created by somebody who was told about it rather than somebody who actually saw the cartoon. Yeah, that what's interesting is that's kind of what happened with Teen Titans Go. Apparently, like they didn't really have any interest in Teen Titans, which it was based off of. So that's why you got Teen Titans Go the way that it is. But at least at its best, and I use that term loosely, Teen Titans Go works as a parody of the original. I don't think there's much parody fodder to be gotten here. And I don't understand what it is with modern animators and shitting all over the semi-serious action tunes that we grew up with. I mean, they did it to Teen Titans, or they did it to Teen Titans, they did it to Ben 10, they did it to Powerpuff Girls, they they did it to, like, I, I'm waiting for, like, the Generator Rex remake. <laughs> like, god damn it. Oh, Paul, <laughs> know every everything about Thundercats, I read the Wikipedia article. <laughs> I mean, robot chicken. I, mean, like, I, I think you dig it. I think you dig it a little bit, England Dean. It, it it actually does have a very comic book vibe to it, and it has a very good uh, classic hero story. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's a really good. It's a really good um, action tune. It's it's in that same. There are so style. many. I, I have seen the backlog that people say I need to see, especially since I said I want to see some anime. Holy crap! Did I get a whole list of um, one one in particular? Just well, gave me the, this dude link here. and link and list and link. Hey, look, yeah, look. I know. Look at that guy's hair. I'm know. sorry, but I, I have to. Fuck is it? It's like I know. It's like he he was like you know who I love Pebbles Flintstone. He looks like Pebbles Flintstone. That's what you this what, guy looks like. That's what, not even a man bun. That's you know, Pebbles fucking Flintstone right there. You know what I just thought of? The, hmm. if, if they if they wanted to do a Thundercats remake, this is the perfect time to do a semi serious one. Because of all the furry art, and if if you want to pander to SJWs, furries are an entire like subset that doesn't get pandered to very often. So why not do a semi-serious Thundercats remake? Have the animation be similar to how it was originally, and pander the fuck to furries. I don't know, man. All I know is that Pebbles fucking Flintstone got mad at everybody saying that they didn't like the way it looked the art is the art is bad it's not going to draw in the nostalgic crowd because it looks too much like modern day shit and the nostalgic crowd is too old to enjoy this crappy cartoon looking thing 
Uh, so and what's, what nostalgia is supposed to do is I'm supposed to go, oh, wow, this was really good. Let me take my kids. My kids are going to love it. And then it continues the popularity of the franchise. Mm -hmm. That's what we did with Star Wars, with Star Trek, all of the 1980s stuff. You guys like it because your parents liked it and showed it to you. And you were like, hey, all right, this is awesome. Or in some way, they connected you to that because it, it was not being as processed. Without us processing the older stuff, younger people like you and you, you two would not have uh, would not have seen it in some yeah, way, shape, or form. That's, a that's how nostalgia is supposed to work, is skipping over the nostalgia and going straight to it was popular once, therefore the kids will love it today. That's and this an idiot for doing it. No matter, no that's, matter that's what, a brilliant point. The hellscape we do to it, which is the wrong part. That, that's actually a brilliant yeah. point, and it's like this: this won't really capture anyone's nostalgia. So it has to rely upon people still being into that style. The problem is, though, that like so many of the other shows, kind of look like it. So it's just yet another show that looks like everything else. Mm -hmm. Oh, and no, that and a man bun is in the back. That's on the top. That's Pebbles fucking Flintstone. That's the difference. Man bun's in the back. If you are not a fucking 17th century samurai or you are a, a Japanese actor playing a 17th century samurai, you shouldn't be wearing a man bun. And no man should be wearing a Pebbles Flintstone. That is a Pebbles Flintstone. And I think he's he's proving it. But what's yeah, so that, that's funny, what's so funny about this particular crowd because they all they all come from the same place, really, is that they all talk about inclusivity, and it's when you look at them, it's usually just a sea of, uh, of ugly white people who all look the same. Uh, I'm just saying, uh, it is. It, 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 well, you know what? In all honesty, usually I would I would attack. I would I would go after you for the whole white people thing because you know and I I don't I don't think that anybody should be racist but the, in all honesty these are ugly white people I don't <laughs> think you're being racist I think you are just stating a fact and I am an ugly white person I'm I know my own this is uh, this is ugly white people right here like, I'm just uh, I'm not even trying like and that's the thing I'm really not trying to be racist it's just that's what you always see from this particular group of people it's usually just. A bunch, it's usually just a bunch of like what, like late, like late twenties, early thirties, white people who all kind of dress the same and look the same and all have relatively the same opinions about life. All yeah, but they're doing it because they want to seem different. Yeah, <laughs> <in there. laughs> an example of zero creativity. Epic trilogy is saying it's an example of zero creativity. Coming from the inbred children of studio executives with a dash of purposeful globalist Western culture degradation to demoralize us. Wow, that's yeah. that's deep for for a Thundercats cartoon that's not going to make it. Uh, what, what, now, why is so racist corrupt? <laughs> that's also, coming from division. But uh, also, well, yeah, I, I didn't mean to come off as racist if it did. But no, like, no, you didn't really. Also, no. we, we we were just we were just mocking us yeah, all right yeah. awesome okay but like one thing uh also want to point out is that you see the same thing in marvel right now like this and it's it's even the same type of like style mm -hmm. and it's the same type of uh cashing in on on nostalgia while sort of destroying or you know like completely subverting what was uh what it's based off of well and it all go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Um. You can you can finish. No, I was just gonna say and it, it's all it all follows the same similar sort of pattern. They all and it's usually headed by like the same type of the same type of maybe youngish people. I say youngish because like they're usually like late twenties or whatever. People who make the, who all sort of have the same vision for things and when they do take a franchise or a property that they turn it into something like this, like, um, uh, like how the Hawkeye comics became Archie comics. Well, and it's, yeah. it, it's, per it's purposeful because these people are elitists who despise the notion of any kind of intrinsic value. So what they do is they say, well, the populace are dumb and nothing has value. So, 
they they must just like this for stupid brainwashed reasons. So we can just take all the content of the old thing and we can make it whatever we want because people are dumb enough to fall for it anyway because they're the populace and the populace are dumb. Well, it just it also reminds me, and I've said this before, now is not the time to wish that your nostalgic anything comes back. I said right before they announced Fantastic Four is coming back, I said, I don't want Fantastic Four back because I'm thinking of what I love about them and they're going to uh, break Reed and Sue up, make Johnny and Ben gay or, you know, and then they did something worse and they gave it to Dan Slott. So, yeah, it's like they they thought about, wow, if that's the we could show you uh, something worse than that. And they did. Instead of doing what I thought they would do, they gave it to Dan Slott. So it's far, far worse than I could ever imagine. That dude, so, that, and, that guy has a, some weird. That guy has some weird hangups about women. That guy mm-hmm. has mm-hmm. Dan Slott about women. To get a room. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. So, like I said, in all honesty, I don't really have any uh, outrage over this, you know, because Thundercats wasn't my jam. But I can look at this. And then, uh, and then look at this and realize, yeah, somewhere along the line, something got lost in translation. You know, and this by this he means everything, everything. Yeah, there is something wrong. Some someone just didn't get a memo, or forgot to send one out. Uh, it, it, what what amazes me is the creators of this greenlit what's going on right now they they looked at that one yes it's good prob- job that's probably all we need to because do. it's probably because they saw the success of steven universe and teen titans go and just and this is a much simpler art style so it's really easy to sort of do so it's basically well, just them mass manufacturing the like for the least amount of work in order to what they think will be the most to gain really yeah, did you maybe. did you see the did you see the tweet from the guy where he basically said he hated the original and um, yeah he, he yeah. enjoys destroying people's childhoods uh, yeah but, yeah okay that I've always suspected that but uh, won't you be won't you be blacklisted from the evil animation cabal by being honest like <laughs> well it, it reminds me of. It reminds me in 1990s superhero films because you would hear all of the directors say, well, I didn't really like comic book movies, but here's my version of Steel. Oh, oh, yeah. It's like, really, it I don't, doesn't I don't respect this medium as a, as a source of value, so let me shit all over it and call it the, the And it went thing. into the 2000s, too. We didn't want to seem too comic bookish, so we gave I the know, X-Men black leather. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm so happy. I call, I call that the I call that the beta test era. I, I, it, it's like the beta version of the emerging genre that we're getting now. Well, what's interesting is that you got that from Nolan too, who basically said he didn't really like superheroes, mm-hmm. and he created the Dark Knight series. But he <laughs> put his money where his mouth is, and it, it came out good. I mean, even Dark Knight, which is the uh, the the um, Dark Knight uh, Rises. It's which is the re- worst of them, is still pretty darn good in some ways. It's not a reflection. Uh, I didn't mean it as a reflection on quality, just simply saying that, like, yeah, you, even Nolan kind of felt that way where he didn't really like uh, like superheroes either. So, yeah, mm-hmm. th- it does kind of seem that way that it, what's happening now is kind of what happened with superhero films where you have people who are like, I don't like this, so I'm going to make something different or what I think is better. Yeah, I don't I don't respect this as a genre, so let me take everything from other genres and make it basically lose its soul in translation. And the thing yeah. is the, the thing is it's just it's so loud and ugly. Oh my god. I watched the trailer for it and it was just like what what is happening? Why is this so fucking ugly? Thunder, thunder, thundercat, soy. I like, yeah. That's uh, that's comic division. Yeah, that, that's yeah. That that's pretty much it. Soy yeah. cat. We are born of the blood, made made men by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes have yet to open. Fear the old blood. Is what that the- uh, is that blade? Uh, he probably thought it was a flesh. Oh, Kidoki, they're talking about something there. Slot has too much respect for Wham and to look at their private bits. Don't we all? Mm, yeah. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, but goodness gracious. So it's supposed to look like this, and instead it looks like this. Guys, I, I feel sorry for your product, those of you who are nostalgic about Thundercats. Um, I look at it and go, oh, okay, it's Thundercats. Never saw the original. And so, you know, I wasn't really mad. It's just I kind of rolled my eyes and went, well, what the fuck are you thinking? How did you get one out of the other? Because, yeah, I can understand why you would be pissed. It's kind of like doing the Power Rangers but making them all midgets. And then I realized I don't want to see anything else except for an all midget Power Rangers right now. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I was okay. <laughs> as soon as it popped it, as, as soon as it popped in my head, I was gonna say it's ridiculous. But then, no, nah, fuck that. I want to see an all midget Power Ranger. I th- I think the, I think what you'd have to do is have it set so that the actors who play them out of the suits would be kids, and then when they morph, mm-hmm. you could switch it over to the. Midgets. I no, I want the full um, legs, short arms. Big head midget. Yeah, I want that. I want the whole dwarfism. I want Tyrion Lannister. I want, Tyrion want Lannister. Yeah, I want him to be. I want him to be Zord of of the uh, of the Power Rangers. As a matter of fact, <laughs> his voice. And uh, I want them to go after Glinda the fucking Good Witch for not telling everybody. Uh, you mean you about mean the powers of the that. Wicked Witch? No, no. I'm I'm full on wanting them in the Wizard of Oz. Oh God! Yeah. That would be an amazing Power Rangers. Yeah. Seriously, if you're going to go ridiculous on this, go all the way ridiculous. Yeah. Well, that would be they've done, they've done They've done stranger ones, so... It's, oh, it was a quote from the PS4 Bloodborne. I thought Thundercats was okay, but oh, I missed it. Uh, but think of the children forced to think this is a good card. Man, that's the problem. Modern day styles make that these things are good these days because it's all they get i don't even care it's clearly just a hate project at this point as the creative team clearly just phoned it in samurai raccoon saying why couldn't they do this with slobber hawks that shit pile at least sucked from the beginning uh crikey is saying the amount of children who think teen titans go are the actual teen titans is depressing yeah Real Teen Titans, least, are, least, are, are, in my opinion, are the pros. When years. they get older, they'll look into the they'll look into the original Glen Arakami season and see what all the fuck was about. Well, what's okay. really what's really sad about Teen Titans Go is that Teen Titans would still be just as would still be just as popular now. Like it has a lot of the same things that kids are into. It has a lot of the. It's just slightly more. It's just slightly more serious. Or more and serious with actual action scenes and shit. That that's the that that's the thing that really pisses me off. So much of this assault on animation seems to be them constantly taking the piss out of the actual serious era of cartoons. And like every time you call them on it and tell them how good old style action tunes were, even lighthearted ones like say Danny Phantom. Like they 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 whine at you like, oh, it's supposed to be for kids, and that means it's supposed to be terrible. And my reaction to that is always, bitch, do you not understand how important a childhood is? Like the art you're exposed to when you're a child, and your personality that you develop as a child is key to how you develop as a person. So shouldn't my thinking is shouldn't we actually save the best art and the best writing and the best everything for kids so that when they grow up they grow up with the best possible influences but what do i, I know? So. I don't know i'm just a guy who know. believes in value apparently that makes me naive in the saying it is it is pretty weird um so comics division says i should get fat panther to uh meme the midget power rangers why does Chitra look like an, a female character from Marvel Comics? <laughs> uh, watch the 2011 Thundercats. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff I'm being sent to uh, from people, and that's, ju- that's just one of them. So there you go, true believers. I hope you enjoyed the live stream with me, Corrupt, and Dalton talking about the Thundercats cartoon and a few other things. But generally, I think it was good. We kept it on topic. That's a rarity with these live streams. They're a lot of fun and entertaining and enjoyable. Uh, by all means, keep an eye out for them. We have them all the time. I'm doing daytime now as well. Anyway, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the cartoon, what we said about it. Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, share it. Of course, to get word out about it. 
And don't forget to hit subscribe and notification. It's not just here, but go on over to Corrupt's channel as well as Dalton the Authenticator. And uh, if you don't mind supporting the channel, go on over to Patreon. Drop a dollar in the till. The link is in the description below. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.